What's up everyone and welcome to this episode of Revive Outdoors. I am super excited because today is lift day. Woohoo! So I got everything loaded in the truck. I got my wheels here, tires, super lift, two and a half inch lift. I uh, just want to give a shout out to the guys at Real Truck for making sure that I got everything that I needed. They answered all my questions, got my order in in a timely manner, and then a couple of days later, here it was at my house. But um, just give you a little bit of a view of the truck. So you can see here what it looks like without the lift on it and very little ground clearance. I mean, you're talking like nothing. I mean, you can see where I've just gotten pine straw up in the truck. I have taken the truck off-roading already. That's why it's got all the pine straw in it, um, just to see how it performed with the all-wheel drive. It didn't do too bad, but I am excited to get the extra ground clearance on the truck and then get the tires. Um, I'll go through the complete build of what all is what here in just a moment. But right now we're gonna get on the road to our friends at Alabama Affordable Automotives. If you are local to the Birmingham area, especially live in Trustful uh, or close to it, um, make sure that if you're looking for a used car or you're looking for uh, any kind of mechanic work or car work from people who are honest and trustworthy, um, I've been sending my vehicles to Alabama Affordable Automotive for years now and they have always shot me straight, given me great pricing. Uh, it's really rare that you find someone who's honest mechanic in the car world this day and age. So be sure if you need any kind of car work local to the area to give those guys a shout. They're not paying me anything to say that. They're just great people and I would love to help them out by getting your business to them um, and it would benefit you because they are great and honest people. But let's drive on over and get this build going. We're at the shop at Alabama Affordable Automotive. I got my mechanic expert here, Harley. He don't want to be on camera, but he is the genius behind everything. Anytime I get my truck worked on, it's usually him or his dad. Uh, take us through, obviously we're, we got the truck up. Um, take us through kind of step by step. We got wheels, tires, and a lift to put on. Kind of what is the process going to flow like? Uh, first step, we're going to take the factory wheels off, take the tire pressure sensors out, put them in the new wheels and tires. Get them mounted and balanced, and then we'll start on the lift. Cool. Work at the front and go to the back. We're gonna get it taken care of, knocked out today, and show you what it looks like afterwards. I wanted to show you the exact wheels that I have that I'm putting on these. So these are the black rhinos that I got. Um, if you watch uh, Todd uh, with Real Truck, he's got the same exact wheels on his. Um, I was told that Black Rhino got bought out by somebody and that they are selling all their inventory and going out of stock. I really like the wheel pattern that's on these, but I really, really wanted them in matte black. Um, so I might get them powder coated later to go away from this bronze color. But for now, that's what I got because that's all they had. All right, now I wanted to switch over to the tires and show you what those are. So these are the Toyo uh, tires, open country, AT. I think they're called threes. I'll be sure to put that in the description as well, but really good set of tires, really good looking tires. Again, Todd has the same exact wheel and tire set up on his truck. If you want to check out more details, I'll have that in the description below as well. And finally, the last thing is the lug nuts. These are the Gorilla locking lug nuts. And so they come with a key, so you can take those on and off, but that way your wheels are secure so anybody can steal them. But pretty straightforward on the lug nuts. I will be sure to put a link in the description for those as well. I wanted to hold the video from the initial build on this Maverick until I put some good mileage on it. Um, got a lot of off-road time on the truck itself and um, just wanted to really get an overall feel for it. That way I can give a really good review to the two and a half inch lift, the wheels, the tires, everything that I've done to the truck. And so I'm just going to walk you through everything that I've done so far 
and uh, so I'll kind of work from outside to in. So obviously starting here at the beginning, you can see I've installed the Ford Raptor grill on it. It came with these LED bars, um, wherever you're ordering yours from, I would not recommend using those because they have went out that I don't know if they got wet and rain or what but I haven't get them, got them to power back on yet but the lights here still come on um, and then you can see I have the bug deflector um, and then I also have the the visors here going along I really like that on humid days I can crack the window and it lets enough air in to not have to worry too much about um, fogging up any of the windows. And then um, when I'm sleeping, when I'm hunting and I'm sleeping overnight in the truck, I'll crack the windows as well for the same reasons. And then you can see wheels, tires, they're holding up good. As far as tread life goes, you can see everything is looking good. Um, I have put this thing pretty much off the road almost weekly for the last 15,000 miles that I've put on it. And it is holding up really well as you can see tires are good um, I've rotated them once and they're holding tread really really well um, I got the tonneau cover here um, I have a video on that if you want to see how easy that was to install I've done the black lettering black that out I've added a tow package to the truck this is mainly for uh, me being able to put in my e-bike rack and that way I can carry my e-bike everywhere and then I've got the tailgate assist on here, and then I've installed the bed rug. I really like the bed rug um, just because it's quiet and uh, keeps things clean and it's easy to vacuum out um, versus having to sweep out. And then the truck came rhino lined or got the line X in it already. And then kind of go around this way just so you can kind of see what it looks like on this side. Obviously, the same as the other, but. Um, one thing that I did as far as the lift is concerned to get a little bit better um, ride is I installed Steedo's uh, sway bar in the back and then this bar here in the front. So you can see I have that Steedo bar there. Um, really like that. It really helped add some stability to the ride in both the front and the back. So it just wasn't rocking as much and uh, gave me a little bit more stable of a ride. I was having issues with the lift loosening up a little bit and making some popping noises. And after we installed those Steeda bars or after we installed the Steeda bar up front and the sway bar in the back, it's been fine ever since. Um, nothing really else to look at in the engine compartment. So I'll go ahead and close that. And then as we work our way inside, I did tint the windows. I think I've mentioned that in a video before. I love the dash cover because it's easy to clean and vacuum, but I'm not a big fan of the tribal designs that came in it. It was just the most affordable one that I could find. I've been hunting a lot lately, so you can see the mats are extremely dirty and uh, full of mud, but they're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. And then um, I have these seat covers that I added. Um, these are some pretty affordable seat covers on Amazon. They do kind of twist up a little bit. I have to straighten them up here and there. But uh, great seat covers have done exactly what they're supposed to do. Keep the mud and debris off the cloth seats that I got. Because I, I, I got a base model and don't have the leather seats. And then I have the organizer here. Um, the three little bit of organization there. So you can see got my toothbrush for when I'm on the road. Toothpaste is in there somewhere. Um, but overall, um, that's pretty much it for the front. And then I'll take you here to the back. Um, the back, I did the seat cover as well. So let me move this out of the way a little bit so you can see the seat cover. Got the seat cover there. Got my first aid kit with my tourniquet just in case stuff goes down. I need to help someone or help myself. I got these uh, tactical kind of pouches here on the back seat. As you can see, um, really easy to hold um, anything back here. And then um, it's got different pouches. So I have different things that I'll put inside of here from a pouch standpoint. And then I got some pouches down there. You can set the gun stock in that and then um, attach it up here, but I just let the gun sit on the floorboard. But overall, um, it's pretty much it for all the different things that I've done to the truck so far. So the next thing that I'm going to be doing is adding cruise control because as you can see, there's no cruise control here. 
I'm not going to switch out the entire um, steering wheel and put in cruise control. I'm going to use the little attached lever that goes out here on the side, comes out and, you know, turns it on and off, kind of an old school aftermarket add-on. And then I've got to get rid of this terrible auto off, auto start thing. I don't know if you're like me, but I absolutely hate it with a passion. It kills your AC, it kills your power steering, it uh, gets you a slow takeoff time if you're trying to pull out into traffic. Um, I hate the auto start stop feature and have no idea why Ford won't get rid of it. It's really annoying. But uh, what I wanted to show here is I wanted to show my mileage so you can see I'm at 17,235, almost six and uh, have put at least 15,000 miles on the truck uh, with it being lifted. I wanna say almost all 17,000 miles, but I can't remember what the original mileage was when I got the truck. But uh, at least 15,000 miles I have put on the lift with the tires and wheels and um, exceptionally uh, smooth ride. I've had people ride with me and as they have rode with me, they uh like especially when we're off road i'll go to hit a bump or a rut or something a little ditch i've got to go across and they'll oh oh oh, oh and I'll, just, I'll keep the the pedal to the metal and hit it and they're like oh man well my f-250 or my z-71 or my this or that man when i hit those bumps it it'll rock you and this thing just goes right over it um, so i do like that i do like um that it is uh, very maneuverable um, in tight spaces. I can fit pretty much anywhere a side-by-side -side can fit. And I have the similar ground clearance that a side-by-side -side has, has all-wheel drive, but I have an enclosed truck that I can take across the country if I need to. Um, gas mileage-wise, I'll show you that here. So it's been at 22.8 miles per gallon with the lift on it. Um, and I am not a type of person who drives slow. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I, I do not granny the truck in any way. Um, I, you know, pedal to the metal pretty much everywhere I go. So that, uh, gas mileage maybe could be a little bit better, but still very impressive for a lifted truck. Uh, Ford, if anybody from Ford watches this, please create an all wheel drive hybrid. I need this exact same truck in the hybrid. I miss having my hybrid gas mileage. Um, for those of you that have watched any of my videos before I have, had uh, I did have a hybrid. I put 25,000 or 27,000 miles, I think, by the time I sold it, uh, put on that hybrid, but had to switch to the all-wheel drive because I was just needing it to go off-road. Um, but overall, I love the truck. If you're considering, if you're watching this video, considering lifting it and doing a uh, build after the same uh, type of build that I've done, you're going to love it. If you're kind of on the fence whether you should even buy a Maverick in the first place or not, uh, I don't know why you're waited this long. Uh, if you're watching videos on Maverick, you need to buy one. Uh, it's the, the most enjoyable truck I've ever owned. I love the truck. I've enjoyed every bit of it. Um, I fit giants in here, so I've had six foot five guys in the back in the passenger seat, and they all fit well. The seats teardrop a little bit in the back, so it actually gives more leg space than it looks like it would. Um, not as you know nice as a 2500 or a uh, f-250 but it still has the room to get by and do what you need it to do um, my next things are again the auto start stop if you have any suggestions for that if you have any suggestions for cruise control easier than what i talked about using that little old school kind of aftermarket lever um, need some just suggestions on that um, as far as racks go on the bed of the truck i'm really considering this is something that i want to sleep you know sleep in do i want to do a tent do i want to do a full out overland build or do i just want to keep it the hunting rig that it is right now um just i keep going back and forth so if you have any suggestions or comments or videos that you can link to show me or anybody else things that are out there that uh, i might enjoy or that they might enjoy feel free to share that in the comments below um, shoot me messages on instagram or facebook instagram's just taylor i think underscore philpot and then revive.outdoors is the instagram and then facebook just taylor philpot and revive outdoors but but i appreciate you watching the video thus far if you're still hanging in there with us please subscribe it helps us out a ton and um a lot of the content that i put out on the gun side of things um, gets demonetized 
Um, I get it. It's a sensitive subject to some people, but um, that's something that I enjoy. And I know a lot of people enjoy is learning about guns, seeing guns. But uh, YouTube has demonetized almost half my channel now. And so any little bit of subscribers, comments, views, sharing my content always helps. And I'm really appreciative for it. Um, if you have anything specifically you want me to look at on the Maverick for my build or you want me to share with you that I left off, I'm going to put everything that I have went over in the description so you can see it. But I'd be happy to share something that if I forgot to leave it out on this video, so please let me know. But thank you again for watching and we'll see you next time.